to well Twitter and Facebook campaign tools as well. President Obama approved that in 2008 and 2012. As the 2016 presidential race heats up, potential candidates want to showcase their personalities, their platforms, and launch jabs at opponents. Natalie Andrews is with me now. She wrote the article for the Wall Street Journal. She's with me from D.C. So, Natalie, from what you've seen so far, which potential candidate has the most social media power? It depends on how you rate it, but if you rate it solely on who's being talked about, the race would come down to Hillary Clinton on Facebook and Ted Cruz on Twitter. Okay. They're the ones that are really driving the conversation. So they personally are driving the conversation, or are we measuring by how much is said about them on, in this case, Facebook, as you just referenced? So we looked at the second. How many, we looked at both, How? but kind of rating their effectiveness, by how much they're being talked about. Hillary Clinton doesn't even have a Facebook presence, so for her to be talked about the most really shows that people are talking about her without her even having to jump into that conversation. Okay, and we're looking actually at a graph on the screen now, which is more Twitter, but I want to stay with Facebook because, as you say, Hillary Clinton doesn't even have an account, but somehow people are talking about her most on Facebook and their interactions with others. And I noticed, mm -hmm. and I pulled the, the graph, actually, that's part of your, your article, Ted Cruz and Rand Paul are the silver and bronze medalists in that category. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And they are really driving the conversation. Rand Paul especially, he takes jabs at the other likely GOP rivals and Hillary Clinton. On Valentine's Day, Rand Paul posted a message saying, if Hillary Clinton had Pinterest, this is what it would look like. And he'd gone to the work of actually creating a Pinterest profile for Mrs. Clinton. And it had a lot of items that let's just say Hillary Clinton probably won't be highlighting if she runs for president. And Pinterest actually took it down over the weekend because it violated their terms of service um, because they don't allow impersonation. Okay, so I do want to get you now, Natalie, to Twitter because one of the hashtags was grandmothers know best. And this was in reference to this recent discussion about vaccines, whether or not kids should be vaccinated. Um, this is one of the most frequently referenced hashtags. What are you seeing on Twitter? We're seeing a lot of candidates, they're not really maintaining like a glossy appeal. They're really going for it. Hillary Clinton's using Twitter to weigh in to big moments. Um, when she tweeted about the vaccines, it was the news of the day. And Rand Paul and Chris Christie, they also released statements on social. So even as though they're not, they haven't officially announced that they're campaigning yet, they're using Twitter to really dip their toes in and weigh in on policy. And they're using, they're doing it in kind of a snarky way that isn't super typical. So I was going to say, is the snark, and I know, and you mentioned it, um, Hillary taking a lot of shots, but in the sense that does it let people know the kind of tone that their constituents want in an yeah, informal there is way? There is a way where you can like get to know the candidate. Uh, Chris Christie does this when New York and New Jersey were socked in with the snow a few weeks ago. He sent out a few tweets, hey, what's everybody doing tonight? And was retweeting people and engaging. And so it gets to know, well, there's his personality versus you have Rand Paul, who's really throwing jabs at Jeb Bush and Hillary and Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. Like, he's really throwing the jab. So you kind of get to know their different personalities. And, of course, as we saw, social media can play a huge role in elections. President Obama proved that. Many people lauding that 2008 campaign manager for being able to tap uh, millennials and really activate that group on his behalf. Natalie, thank you very much. Great article. Great read. Thank Everybody you. else can find it at WSJ.com.